Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be looking at some very very dodgy and potentially dangerous audio transistors. So I want you to take a good look at these numbers and remember these. It's a complimentary pair because the internet is absolutely flooded with these. Um, now as you can see they don't look like they've been repainted. Uh, they don't look like they've been sanded down. They do actually look like the genuine part. That is until you compare them with a genuine part. Now you can buy a pair of these on the internet for a couple of pounds. Well, I've just paid £14.07 uh, for a genuine pair. So let's get them out of the bag. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some tests on these with the um, Peak Atlas DCA Pro. And uh, also in, conjun in, sorry, in conjunction with the data shoot, we're going to make some measurements. So let's just stop the camera and just get the genuine ones out. So the very first thing that should set the alarm bells ringing, if you look at the genuine ones from Sanken Electronics, the number's actually painted on with a silver paint. Whereas if you look at the fake ones, um, it's actually laser printed on. It's difficult to see, uh, we haven't got a very good light here, but uh, let's put these on a test now and just have a quick look what we've got. Right, so if we take a look at the data sheet here, let's take this one for start, the 2SD, the MPN one. Um, it says it's a Darlington transistor with two internal resistors and an internal diode. So let's put it on the peak, and um, it is a bit small, this display. We'll just try it, and then I'll plug this into my computer and we'll make it a bit bigger. Right, so as you can see there, it's come up with the... Um, the correct picture there um, take no notice of the gain figure um, the reason it's reading 11 I presume is because it's got internal resistors uh, and it's actually fooled the peak tester this should have a gain of a few thousand but uh, let's plug the peak into my computer first so we get a bigger picture right so this is the peak atlas DCA pro uh, with curved tracing on uh, just plug it into the computer I'll just uh, stop the camera while I load it up Right, so we connected to the computer, we loaded up. Uh, now, I'll just give you a quick demonstration. We've got curve tracing on this, um, but we'd actually we don't need to concern ourselves with that because uh, I'll show you why. So let's just click on uh, identity in the corner here, and that comes up with the um, MPN Darlington, just as it did on the display, but a lot bigger here. So we've got two resistors, an internal diode two transistors connected a Darlington pair now that is the that's the genuine Sankum one now let's put in um, the fake one that I've just bought right so there we go so that's the fake one now connected up now what do you think is going to happen here when we press this button well let's get the uh, mouse point over there press the button that says test And look at that, the fake one's not even a Darlington transistor, it's just an ordinary NPN bipolar transistor. So, although it's got the same, or it appears to be the same markings on, um, 2SD2083, it's a completely different device, it's not, it doesn't look anything near the Darlington so let's just run some more tests on it. Right, so we'll just run another test on this transistor. So we know we've not got a Darlington like we should have. Um, now if we look at the data sheet here, it says the maximum collector emitter voltage here is quoted at 120 volts. So let's put this onto a tester uh, and see what we've actually got. If I can hold the camera at the same time. So press the button, start the test. And this transistor is only rated at 65 volts. So not only is it not the right one, it's also half of the maximum collector emitter voltage that it should be. Right, so let's try the 2SB one. Uh, we'll do it on this test because I can hold the camera at the same time. Um, 
So you can see we've got the genuine one in there first. And that once again comes up with a Darlington configuration uh, of two resistors, two diodes, just like it says on the data sheet. So now we'll swap for the faint one and try that. And once again, it just comes up with an ordinary um, PMP transistor. Um, so these are totally, totally fake. Uh, they're not Darlington's at all. Um, and also, they would be very dangerous to fit that in anything. Uh, what I actually want them for is this um, Denon amplifier. Um, but uh, I just thought... I'd get a couple of these uh, because I, I saw them on the internet for a couple of pounds. I thought they must be fake, but you know, for a couple of quid, let's buy a pair and see what you actually get for your money. So uh, it's a part that's totally unsuitable. Um, it doesn't. It, it it looks the part. It's not definitely not. Although it doesn't look in the camera, it, it's definitely not been sanded down. Um, the surface texture looks absolutely perfect. I would think that these are just some manufacturer's rejects. Um, that somebody's marked up but um, remember these numbers because if you take a look on the internet it's absolutely flooded with them so there you go guys and girls uh, remember these two numbers and um, if you get any of these and they're very cheap and they look nice and shiny and brand new uh, make sure you test them first to see what you've actually got because uh, I would imagine if the numbers aren't painted with silver or white paint then you'll almost certainly be buying a fake. And, uh, well, you fit them in anything and you'll just blow up the amplifier because uh, rated at 60 volt, um, I'm guessing the amplifier might be running 80, 90 volt on the HT rail to get 100 watts. So, uh, all right, guys and girls, many thanks for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, please subscribe for some more.